Margaret Sullivan, Ghosting the News, Local Journalism and the Crisis of American Democracy. In Ghosting the News, Local Journalism and the Crisis of American Democracy, Margaret Sullivan addresses the decline of local news journalism and the effects on American democracy. As thousands of U.S. newspapers close and staff numbers reduce, this crisis in journalism leads to increased government and corporate corruption. The book emphasizes the importance of local news sources for a well-informed public and democratic society, while outlining alternatives such as citizen-driven journalism efforts, non-profit news organizations, and digital platforms. However, it highlights the challenges they face, such as funding and sustainability. Crisis in American Journalism Margaret Sullivan's Ghosting the News discusses the decline of local newspapers in America and its impact on democracy. With nearly half of U.S. newspapers cutting staff and thousands closing, Sullivan argues that the lack of local reporting has led to a rise in corruption. She warns of the profound crisis faced by democracy when regional papers disappear. However, she also provides hope, highlighting alternative sources of local news. Sullivan's engaging writing style and convincing argument make Ghosting the News a must-read for those interested in the future of journalism and democracy. The Financial Crisis and Local News Disappearance The newspaper industry's decline began with the 2008 financial crisis, leading to a lack of funding for traditional local newspapers. More than 2,000 U.S. newspapers have gone out of business since then, with 45% of American newsrooms cutting their staff between 2008 and 2017. As a result, many regions of the U.S. have lost access to accurate local news sources, creating a real news problem that affects communities across the country. While most Americans believe local news is in good economic shape, the industry's struggles continue to threaten the availability of trustworthy local reporting. The Demise of Newspapers the Buffalo News and other newspaper monopolies made big profits until 2008 when the industry began experiencing terrible years in a row. The emergence of Craig Newmark's Craigslist and the domination of Google and Facebook in digital advertising caused the devastating decline of newspaper classifieds. Google and Facebook now command over half of all digital advertising in the U.S. Innovative Solutions for Local News Coverage with the decline of local news outlets, citizen journalists in East Lansing, Michigan created East Lansing Info, ELI, a website that covers local issues such as the city's pension debt. ELI is now run by local journalists on a small budget. Similarly, Community Impact of Pflugerville, Texas prints and mails 34 newspapers for free to residents, funded by highly targeted advertising. These innovative solutions highlight the challenges faced by digital news outlets and offer potential paths forward for addressing local news coverage. The Impact of Shrinking Newspapers With falling newspaper circulation in Italy by over 50%, Brazil having a third of its population living in a news desert, and significant staff reductions for Australia's two major, legacy newspapers, the effect on society is concerning. As local newspapers disappear or get downsized, there is a rise in public corruption, division among citizens and a lack of public engagement. It is crucial to acknowledge the vital role of the local press in ensuring the health of democracy and communities. Nonprofits Funding Journalism Despite negative views of journalists, local news receives positive feedback. Nonprofits like ProPublica and Texas Tribune utilize donations to finance investigative teams, while also relying on the constant challenge of fundraising. While some news organizations focus on digital editions and subscriptions, nonprofits may be in a stronger position to finance investigative journalism. However, they struggle to match the output of larger, for profit papers. The Decline of Local Newspapers Local newspapers in mid-size American cities have struggled to maintain subscriptions despite high-quality content, leading to a decline in reliable news sources for those communities. The New York Times and other major institutions have found success with digital subscribers, but the economic risk of print media has left many local newspapers without leverage or credibility. 
The Vital Role of Local Newspapers Local newspapers play a crucial role in keeping local governments accountable, informing people about issues affecting their daily lives, and encouraging political engagement. Without them, poor and marginalized communities are left voiceless, and corruption thrives. The rapid disappearance of local papers, particularly in rural areas, threatens to deepen political divisions and weaken community ties. This highlights the urgent need for action to support and strengthen local journalism, lest we lose a key pillar of a healthy democracy. Bezos and the Future of News Margaret Sullivan compares her own privileged position as a writer for the Washington Post, owned by billionaire Jeff Bezos, with the struggles of local reporters worldwide. She warns of the growing dominance of media giants like Sinclair Broadcast Group and their potential to damage the credibility of rural American news. Despite her concise writing style, Sullivan offers little optimism for the state of journalism. Her message is a call to action for concerned citizens to pay attention to the future of the news industry. Margaret Sullivan's previous book, Newsroom Confidential, offers further insights on this topic. Margaret Sullivan's Ghosting the News leaves readers deeply concerned about the future of local journalism and its implications for democracy. The decline in regional newspapers leaves marginalized communities without representation, increases corruption, and weakens the bonds within societies. While some promising alternative news sources emerge, they face significant challenges in funding and competition from news conglomerates. As local papers continue to vanish, particularly in rural areas, Sullivan urges communities to support local journalism in any way possible to preserve its crucial role in holding local people, institutions, and politicians accountable for their actions.